Before we get started, subscribe to my channel. And what I'm doing here, I'm going to fry some cabbage with some bacon and carrots. It's real simple to do. First, what you want to do is get you a, about three slices of bacon. And I'm going to cook half this cabbage. And just slice it up. And then put it in your frying pan. Once you put it in your frying pan, you want to make sure you separate the bacon to make sure all of it is cooked. Once you get the bacon separated, and while it's frying, you can go ahead and start preparing your other stuff. Or you can do this in ahead of time. You know I got to have my onions, so I'm going to slice up some onions and I'm going to put those to the side. And next what I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and get my cabbage and uh, cut my cabbage up. See I'm slicing it right down the middle, then I'm just taking that hard part out. And I like to slice my cabbage thin. And once I do that, I don't cut it up again. I don't like it in small bitty pieces, square pieces. I like to have my cabbage like my collard greens. So I'm going to take the other part right here. I'm going to slice them up. Once I get the cabbage all sliced up, I'm going to go ahead and wash them off. Make sure there's no dirt or anything. The bacon is still cooking here. So now I'm going to throw my onions in there. And I really don't cook my onions that much. You can put your onions in now or later. But I'm going to go ahead and uh, put them in. Then you take some of your cabbage and put there on the top. Don't add no water. So we're just using the grease from the bacon. And you want to, I got some garlic powder. Just sprinkle it on it, season it how you want. You know, I'm a country boy. We don't measure anything. So I'm going to get my garlic with parsley. And I'm going to get me some jalapenos and throw them there on the top. Give me some carrots. And if you like carrots, you can put more or less. It depends on you. And you know, here in the South, we use our Tonys. So I'm going to sprinkle a little Tonys there on the top. And cayenne pepper. I like my stuff a little hotter. So I'm going to put some cayenne pepper on it. And now my Worcester, I can't say that. You guys might can say it, but I'm going to put some of that. I say maybe two or three tablespoons. And stir it up a little bit. And I'm going to add the rest of the cabbage. Then I'm going to uh, add a little bit more season there on the top. Now I got a little minced garlic that I had left over from the other day. I know that sound, that squeaky sound is <laughs> getting to your ears, but I got to make sure I get all of it out. And now what you want to do is just start stirring this up. You want to cook it for about 10 minutes. I like my stuff crunchy. I don't like to overcook my cabbage. Uh, I like when, I, when I'm finished, I like to hear the crunch. And like I said, about 10 minutes. It depends. Once you're done, that's what you got right there. So I'm going uh, to put me some on a plate. Man, it smells good. Now, if you want to, you can add chicken, shrimp. Sometimes we add some ribeye steaks to ours, but um. I'm trying to eat a little better now, so I ain't going to put all that other stuff in there. And get your sriracha sauce. Sriracha. You got it. We have to have that. We got about two or three bottles here at the house. That's some good stuff. All right, let me give it a try. Let me see what this tastes like. Mm. Delicious. I think I ate the whole pot before I finished making this video. 